It's Foxy Friday, second day of Vlogmas. This does not look like the picture. <laughs> second day of Vlogmas and I am starting the fox from Knitted Animal Friends. So I think I need to get this off my face so we can start knitting. <laughs> I'm feeling much more myself now. <laughs> so um, yes, we're talking foxes today. I've got my new fox mug. This is from Primark. It's really nice. Sometimes when you have these novelty mugs, they're really hard to drink out of. And this one is nice to drink out of. It's nice like a hug mug, but it's got like a lip round here. And so when you get near to the end, it's hard to get the last bit. <laughs> And I do generally drink every single drop. I do love my coffee. So yeah, I'm really pleased with my mug. <laughs> You've got to have a boxy mug when you're going to knit a fox, haven't you? Surely. So like I said, I'm going to be knitting. It's called Charlotte in the book. So I have started this morning in bed, but not actually onto the fox because of what I thought I'd better do is dropping the needles so i am using instead of the stone sheepy's stone wash that's recommended i'm using drops alpaca and so this is 100 percent alpaca and it's a fingering four ply weight so i thought that'd be quite because it's bit fluffy I thought that might be nice and this isn't a toy it's not going to be given to a child so um, I'm happy with that if I was going to be giving it to a child then I'd go with the recommended cotton but because it's for me and I just want to dress her up and play <laughs> um, so yes because I am going to be knitting in a different one and anyway you should do but even more so I decided I need to do a gauge swatch, not because I'm worried about what size she turns out, but because of how dense the fabric is, because obviously I'm going to be stuffing it and I don't want the stuffing to show through. And I am wondering already sort of if this is going to be a little bit loose. So I need to knit on this more. So yeah, I'm going to be carrying on with this today because I've only done a little bit. But it does look quite loose to me but i don't know because you've got the fluffiness but then obviously the stuffing is white inside not gonna focus <laughs> take my word for it just take my word for it <laughs> yes so i've got the brown and the cream for foxy so that is what i'll be doing today but like I said, I am going to be going out. So I'm out to lunch again. I know I'm not really a lady who lunches all the time. Don't get the false impression that this is my life. It's just because it's coming up to Christmas. So it's just catching up with friends when we can really. So it's just fallen all on the same couple of days. So where I'm going out to lunch after that, my friend Ellen lives very close by, so I'm going to pop in with her. And she is also knitting the West Yorkshire Spinners sock yarn. So I don't know, I haven't spoken to her, so I don't know if she did cast on yesterday or whether I've got to push her along a bit today when I see her. But I thought um, even though today isn't a sock knitting day, I'm still going to take my sock so that if I can't get on with my fox because i think i'm gonna to have to concentrate to get going to start with i might end up just knitting on my socks and it'd be nice because we're going to be sock twins so um well no we're going to be sock sisters because she's going to be using a different contrast with hers i don't know even if she is using the contrast or whether she's doing this whole sock in this i shall find out i'll report back i may even be able to take a photo we'll see how brave she is so Yes, I have finished the cuff so far, so I am on track. So I've just started the leg, so I'm actually ahead of time. So if I put some a few rows in this afternoon, I will be winning. 
So um, yeah, then I'll have to catch up. I'm thinking that even even if I get my test done so I know what size needles to do, I might start that properly in bed in the morning because then I can just concentrate on it. Um, once again, tonight I'll carry on with that flax so that I can get that finished because it's nice, it's it's narrow and weight, so it's nice, easy, round and round for when you're watching TV. So I think at the moment, carry on with that in the evening, but then tomorrow morning, nice late lying. <laughs> Not going anywhere tomorrow, so a nice late lying, and I can get a body part done. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Make a body part in bed. <laughs> Make a body part for my box. <laughs> what else would you do in bed? What else would you do? Don't answer that question. So yes, I think you're up to date. So I shall report back a little bit later. I have returned. It is really cold out there tonight. <laughs> so I've got a hot cup of tea. I've got my cats in their knitwear. Because of course cats are going to have their knitwear. <laughs> so yes, sorry about the lighting. It looked really sinister when I first just used the ceiling light, so I brought in extra light, so yeah, <laughs> it's interesting, let's just call it interesting. So I've had a lovely day, I had a lovely lunch, and then I went on to see Ellen, and then we were having a little knit on our socks, so there's a little picture here, so I'll put that up. And yeah, I'm a little bit further than Ellen is now. She knit on her socks for a while and then she went on to her beautiful crochet blanket that she's making. And so I have knit a couple of stripes on my socks. Oops, I'll turn it that way. So that's where I am now. Oh yes, I'm feeling very addicted now. As I think most people that knit stripy socks like this know that once you get started, you think, oh, what will the next stripe look like? And then what will the next stripe look like? <laughs> so yes, I'm well ahead of the plan at the moment. So I'm happy about that. And I'm loving how they're turning out. I'm happy with, it's not the best way to see the color in this light, but there's a difference in the tone from the cuff. But I think it blends nicely. So I'm happy with that. So yes, those are my socks. Moving on to Foxy. And I was right to check my gauge because I am out, really out. So I think it was 19 stitches for the four inches I needed. And I think I've only got about 14. So I've got to go down at least another needle size, if not two. And I think I can see it's quite open so I'm going to be needle diving tonight to see if I can find some smaller ones. These are really small because they're 2.75 millimetre, these ones. So they're already very small. So I shall see if I can find some smaller ones. If not, I shall be on to Amazon tomorrow for a fast delivery because I need to get this started now. I really want to get on with that one. So that's what I should be doing tonight. I shall be looking for my needles and I shall be carrying on with that flax sweater because tomorrow I'm going to be casting on my new Whitmore, which is the jumper version of this cardigan. You can't really see it in this light, but it's got this pattern. Lots of people have knit it, so I'm sure you've seen it before. So I'm going to be casting on with that one. I have a day at home tomorrow, so apart from housework, <laughs> I shall be getting on with that. And I do want to get in the garden as well because there's something I need to do in the garden. So I will be asking your advice about that because I'm not sure. So any garden plant lovers out there that know about storing plants over winter, please tune in tomorrow so you can answer my question. I would be very grateful. But for now, take care, keep warm, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.